Hello guys, in this video we are given an electric circuit question which reads the circuit diagram below shows a battery with an EMF of 60 volts and an unknown internal resistance R connected to three resistors which is 8 ohm, 30 ohm and 20 ohm resistors. We have our battery here with EMF 60 R. A voltmeter connected across the 8 ohm resistor reads 21,84. So we have 21,84 here for volts. 9.2.1 Calculate the current in the 8 ohm resistor, which is the one that is reading 21,84. V is equal to IR. Our V is 21,84 is equal to I, then the resistance 8 ohm. Then we divide by 8 both sides, we'll get our current I is 2,73 amps. This is the current flowing through here. Also, this is the total current of the circuit here because we know that an 8 ohm resistor is in series with the rest of the resistor, so it's not going to divide the current. Current will divide here on these two. So 2,73 is the total current of our circuit. Next question. Equivalent resistance of the resistors in parallel parallel combination, which is this one well, For us to calculate the parallel resistance. It's 1 over R parallel is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 We have two resistors so we can just end on R1 and R2 So our 1 over R parallel will be equal to 1 over 30 ohm plus 1 over 20 this will give us 1 over R parallel, then we add these two fractions together, we will get 1 over 12. As we are looking for R parallel, so we switch. This is going to on top, the, the one at the bottom, same as this side, top on top, one at the bottom. So our R parallel will be equal to 12 ohms. Some can choose to use an alternative way, which is for product over sum. Since we have two resistors in parallel, you can only apply this if you have two resistors in parallel. So R parallel, we are saying it's product of these two resistors over their sum. So it's 8 times 20 over 30 plus 20. This will give us 12 ohms. Next one, 9.2.3. Internal resistance R of the battery. For us to calculate the internal resistance, we need to know the total resistance of the whole circuit. For us to calculate the total resistance, we have already calculated the parallel combination. So we just add it to 8 ohms because parallel combination is in series with 8 ohm resistor. So that will be 12 plus 8. This will give us 20 ohm. Then from there, we are going to use the formula for calculating EMF. We says E is equal to I, open bracket, external resistance plus internal resistance. Our EMF of the battery is given to be 60 volts. So 60 will be equal to I. I, I is the total current of the circuit which is 2,73. The external resistance is the one that we calculated 12 plus 820 then plus R. So by solving for R we get R is equal to 60 divided by 2,73 minus 20. So this will give us R is uh, 60 over 2.73 minus 20 is equivalent to 1,98 ohms. Let's go to 9.2.4. Heat dissipated in external circuit in 0 0.2 seconds. Did you know that heat is the form of energy? So we're going to use the formulas for energy, but in this case, it will be energy in form of work. So work done is equal to we have many formulas that we can use, but I'm choosing the one which is work is equal to I squared R delta T. Delta T is the change in time. R is the resistance. I is the current. Then W is the work done. Then our current is 2,73, which is the total current of the circuit that we have calculated earlier. So 2,73 squared multiplied by the resistance. This is the total resistance of the external circuit. External circuit or total resistance was 20. Then our time, 0 0,2 seconds. Then by simplifying this one, we'll get 29,81 joules.
So that's the heat dissipated by the walls against the wall.